Hi, everyone. My name is Johnny. I work on the uh, Oxygen 8 Inside Sales Applications Engineering team. And today we're going to teach you more about the Nova and Ventum duct connections and the flexibility and configurability you have with our two main commercial units. As most of you are familiar now, we have the two main options, the Nova line and the Ventum line. The Nova being the standard cross flow core with standard efficiencies and the Ventum being that high efficiency ERV HRV option. Both of these units are designed still to be low profile, but of course the Nova line can go uh, up to the 8,000 CFM range when the Ventum is held around 3,000 CFM. Nova is also able to be outdoors while Ventum must remain indoors. Although these units have very similar components, whether it's the ECM fans, the double wall casing, the same type of controller, there is some key components we need to remember when we're actually trying to figure out where to locate these within a mechanical space to optimize the duct runs and make sure your base there is, is used to the, the fullest of its capabilities. I'll jump into the Nova product line first. So as I mentioned, this is this is the first unit we came out with, the standard crossflow core with the standard efficiencies. And we came, when we first designed this, we wanted it to have flexible orientation. So right now, uh, you're allowed to have it either floor mounted, ceiling mounted, or wall mounted, like in these images here. You're also able to have it outdoors. You'll see here, we can do the VRV integration as well as hydronic integration. And you'll see in these images here, the design of these components and these accessories is a decoupled one. There, there is a transition required between these um, between the supplier duct connection and the accessory whenever you're doing cooling mechanism. So whether you have a chill water coil or a DX coil on cooling, uh, you have to have them decoupled. If you're just having a hot water heater or a, a hot electric heater, those can couple up directly to the supplier duct. But because the cooling coils typically require a lot more capacity, um, we do require them to be decoupled in this scenario and also horizontal to make sure the drain pan and the condensate can flow out of the uh, coil properly. So you'll see here the top two images are the indoor unit um, with the decoupled accessories. And you'll see the first one, you'll see the, the DX coil there is actually horizontal, like I mentioned. Um, in the bottom, very bottom image, that's the outdoor unit with horizontal duct connections. I'll show you a bit more of the flexibility we have with the outdoor unit where you can have downshot as well. So the standard duct connections for the Nova you'll see here, the main thing you need to remember is that the outside air and the return air must be on the same side of the ERV. So you'll see here uh, on the right, we have the return air on the top going through the unit and the outside air on the same, uh, coming in the same side. We have this because of our stacked fan design. You'll see here the two ECM fans are on top of each other. And the reason we have that design is to keep it as compact as possible. But a lot of our competitors have it the opposite way where you have the return air on the other side and the outside air on the, other, on the opposite end. So just keep in mind, there's a lot more flexibility to this though. These are two horizontal images, a left hand and a right hand. Um, the, the fan side is, is what you notice for the left hand and the right hand, as well as having the access section uh, when you're facing the access section, that's how you can tell when it's the left hand or right hand. But with this, you also can see that we have these optional connections here. You'll see 1A, 2A, 3A, and 4A. These are optional connections that must be configured prior to shipment. So if you see, for example, in the top left here, we have 1 and 1A. You'll notice the very similar size panel, and we basically just block off the 1 access and open up the 1A. And that allows you to have, say, instead of having an elbow in the ducting, it can just connect directly to the unit. We can do this with all of these options. The main thing to remember, as I mentioned, is that the outsider and the returner must remain on the same side of the unit. For example, this is one of the one of the options I pulled up. You can have your return air and the outside air on the top and bottom optional connections and still have your supplier and your exhaust air on the same side. If you look in the bottom right, you'll see that's an isolated view of just that unit with the side connections. And you can see that we changed the mounting brackets to be on, on the other side of the unit where the typical standard connections are. It's very similar in terms of mounting and installation, just different sides of the connections. It's very similar with the vertical option here. You'll have the right hand in the top, left hand in the bottom. But with the vertical indoor Nova option, there's only two uh, optional duct connections you can choose from, and that's the top ones. 
you'll see here it's, it's pretty straightforward but we can have the supplier and the returner on the top or of course the outside air and the exhaust air depending on we on the left hand right hand and on which connections you'll see here though like i said the return air and outside air remain on the same side another cool uh, component to our nova line is the is the side access door sections so you'll see here we have side access doors and in the bottom right there's the typical mounting using a, a rail and some threaded rod you can do this when you're really tight for space in the ceiling plan but you'll notice that now we have there's four access sections on this unit it's one on each corner and that's for the two fil fan maintenance and the two filter changes so that will be the access section but then you have no sw down swing on the doors or upswing so it's all again compact the only clearance requirements you have are on the side of the unit and for select units of ours we have the optional shipping split here in red for the outdoor line we have two options either horizontal duct connections or downshot connections keep in mind if you're including like a, a post heating or post cooling coil the downshot connections means that you have to have those accessory coils downstream of the supplier which would be located indoors so that covers off nova for ventum it's a bit more straightforward we, there's not as much flexibility here but we had to change the fan design because of the counterflow uh, erv or hrv core you'll see here we have the fans on opposite ends of the unit that means the return air and the outside air now are on the opposite sides and that needs to be con uh, considered when making these selections a bit more restriction to the, the accessibility and the flexibility of having connections uh, for the venting unit so you'll see here this is just an example of our coupled units our coupled accessories i mentioned before the Nova unit you require that duct connection between a cooling coil and the supply air connection in this scenario with the ventum we've designed it so that the cooling coils can couple directly up to the supplier so there's no extra ducting needed in the field it's much more simple it looks like a bit more of a cleaner compact product because we designed it with that uh that in mind but you'll see here you'll have the outside air in the top uh, right coming through and the supplier going through the dx coil and then you'll have the return air right beside that coming through and the exhaust air on the uh, bottom right end of it and this is just a, a standard duct connection. As I mentioned, you'll have the outside air going over to the supplier, and then on the opposite end, you'll have the return air coming to the exhaust air. There are considerations here. We, we can, in certain circumstances, have side door access, but there needs to be no, no drain pan or, or no condensate forming on the ERV, and it's a custom solution. So if you ever have any questions about side access or, or even standing this unit up vertically, just reach out to me or one of your uh, sales reps, and uh, we can make sure we get you the correct and the most uh, effective orientation here. That concludes the duct trainings. Thank you very much for your time. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.